Hi, I'm Morgan Freeman, and you're watching the Broadway.com show. Did you know that? Welcome to the Broadway.com show, your weekly guide to everything Broadway. Or as we like to think of it, the place where fans named Wicked their favorite long-running show for the seventh year in a row. Hey, when you guys say for good, you really mean it. Okay, it's time for some news. What's the buzz, Paul? Broadway's biggest supporters, the fans, have spoken. Winners of the 2015 Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards were revealed on May 11th. Finding Neverland came out on top as voters' favorite new musical, winning a total of four trophies including prizes for Matthew Morrison, Laura Michelle Kelly, and the show's writers. Kristen Chenoweth also proved to be tops with fans, earning three prizes as favorite leading actress, favorite funny performance, and favorite diva performance for On the 20th Century. Other notable winners include the shows The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, The King and I, The Elephant Man, Wicked, and stars Darren Criss, Bradley Cooper, Rupert Grint, Helen Mirren, Sierra Bogus, Christian Borle, Annalee Ashford, Vanessa Hudgens, and Emma Stone. Congrats to everyone. The Great White Way is getting a new Prisoner 24601. Alfie Bo will take over from Amin Karamloo as Jean Valjean in the Les Mis revival. Bo made his Broadway debut as Rodolfo in Baz Luhrmann's La Boheme. Then Miss fans will know him for his portrayal of Valjean in the musical's 25th anniversary concert and on the West End stage. We look forward to Beau bringing it home at the Imperial Theatre starting September the 1st. Tom Hewitt is having a very busy season. The hard-working actor who was most recently seen in the now-closed Dr. Zhivago will next appear on Broadway in Amazing Grace. Hewitt will play Captain Newton, a role he originated in the show's out-of-town tryout in Chicago last year. Amazing Grace, which tells the incredible story behind one of the world's most beloved songs, also stars Josh Young, Aaron Mackey, and Chuck Cooper. It begins previews at the Nederlander Theater on June 25th and opens on July 16th. As the saying goes, if you can't come to Broadway, let Broadway come to you. This week, three productions announced they'd be launching national tours next year. The Tony-nominated play, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, and revivals of The King and I and On the Town, led by dashing Tony nominee Tony Yazbek, will all be hitting the road in 2016. And if all that news wasn't cool enough, we also learned this week that a certain Tony and Broadway.com Audience Choice Award winning diva will let it go in select stops on the national tour of If Then. Can you guess who we're talking about? We think you can. And we've got more on that coming up in a little bit, so stay tuned. Hey, have we mentioned it's award season? The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime was the big winner at the 65th Annual Outer Critics Circle Awards, nabbing five trophies, including Outstanding New Broadway Play. An American in Paris, Hamilton, and The King and I were also big winners. Speaking of Hamilton, at Off-Broadway's Lucille Lortel Awards, the new musical dominated the ceremony, winning all 10 categories it was nominated for. Congratulations, guys! On May 11th, the Actors' Home of America held its annual Spring Gala at the Marriott Marquis, toasting Hollywood star Morgan Freeman and former NYC Mayor Michael Bloomberg before a room full of Broadway's best. Seeing Mayor Mike got us thinking, what if there was a mayor of Broadway? Who'd be the best candidate? Hmm, sounds like this week's pop poll. You might want to ask Mayor Bloomberg if he'd want to be the mayor of Broadway because he loves the theater so much. I'm in the running for it. I'd probably do that one. That'd be good. But you know, Morgan Freeman, Nathan Lane, good call. You know, Nathan Lane would be, he would not only be a great mayor, he'd be very funny. Nathan and Cheetah. Right now, I'd vote for Cheetah Rivera. I don't know who, who's down the list at mayor. I think we have a queen and her name is Cheetah Rivera. Tyrone McCansley, mayor of Broadway. His slogan would be vote for me or else. The mayor of Broadway, Tom Cromwell. He's a character. He's Wolf Hall's main part. Brian Darcy James. Brooks Ashmanskis. Oh, I could see Michael being a really good mayor, Michael Service. He's got the mayor face and, you know, thing going on. Kevin Covert. Barbara Streisand. We need to discuss a Broadway supernova who will soon be soaring over the United States on the If Then National Tour. She created the role of Elizabeth in the Tom Kitt and Brian Yorkie tuna on The Great White Way, and she'll soon be rising like the break of dawn in Denver, Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego, Tempe, and Costa Mesa. For letting that belt go on the road, Tony and Broadway.com Audience Choice Award winner Adina Menzel, you are our star of the week. 
Our Tweet of the Week comes from Emily Skeggs, who plays Medium Allison in Fun Home and has an onstage intimate experience so intense it makes her change her major. Emily writes, To the student who yelled out, get a room, during today's matinee, we have one, and you're in it. Hashtag, welcome to our house, at Fun Home Musical. We've got to hand it to Emily. She's right. They have a room. A very big room with over 700 seats. You can follow this Tony nominee at E.D. Skeggs. We can't wait for NBC's live broadcast of The Wiz on December 3rd, which will launch a long-needed Broadway revival of the funked up take on The Wizard of Oz. This week, we're giving a big thumbs up to news that Stephanie Mills, who wowed Broadway as a teenager in the role of Dorothy, has joined the cast playing Aunt M. Nothing makes us happier than a nod to the Broadway stars who first make a show sing, so bravo to NBC for this clever casting coup. Thumbs down to Meryl Streep, who hasn't been on Broadway since 1977. Yes, yeah, she headlined the Into the Woods, Doubt and Mamma Mia film adaptations, and yes, she's appeared in Shakespeare in the Park, but it's not the same as treading the Great White Way's boards. However, Meryl, we have the perfect opportunity for you to redeem yourself. A musical stage adaptation of your hit 2006 movie The Devil Wears Prada is in development. Time for you to bring your icy tastemaker Miranda Priestley to Broadway. That's all. Hi, I'm Michael Cerberus and you're watching the Broadway.com show. In last week's Smackdown, we celebrated the arrival of Netflix's new show, Grace and Frankie, starring Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda, by asking you which stage and screen icon you'd love to see return to the Broadway stage. Well, the results are in, and funny lady Lily Tomlin won with 90% of the votes. This week, we're psyched that Pitch Perfect 2 is opening in theaters, and we can't wait to catch up with the Barden Bellas, the Troublemakers, and all of the other acapella-loving goofballs. They've added some new members to the already stacked ensemble cast, but, of course, Broadway alums Anna Kendrick and Skylar Astin are still our favorites. So, we want to know, which Pitch Perfect 2 star would you most love to see come back to the Great White Way? Anna Kendrick or Skylar Aston. Tweet your vote to at Broadway.com with the hashtag BOA Smackdown and tune in next week to find out the winner. What do you do when you finish a hit run on Broadway, nab a Tony nomination, and get a Broadway.com Audience Choice Award for your performance? Go to Sardi's. No, not for the dirty martinis, although those are great. The Elephant Man star Bradley Cooper was honored with his very own portrait, which will hang on the wall of the famed restaurant. Check out this shot by Broadway.com photographer Bruce Glickus of the stage and screen star with the new work of art. Looking good, Bradley! With everyone in the throes of Tony fever, we ask you to rank your favorite Tony-winning musicals on Culturalist. The results are in, and here's your top ten. The Sound of Music, Spring Awakening, Cabaret, The Lion King, A Chorus Line, The Book of Mormon, Sweeney Todd, The Phantom of the Opera, Rent, and number one, Les Miserables. What a glorious list. Tune in next week for another Broadway.com Culturalist Challenge. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Broadway.com show. We'll leave you with a sneak peek at our latest behind the lens photo shoot with the moms of Broadway getting polished and pampered at the spa. Enjoy and we'll see you next week.